Let's see how we can use these annotation tools in order to make annotations and measurements on the slice views. The first tool here is a simple measurement tool that we can use for measuring lengths on the slice views. 3D images are calibrated by nature, so uh, when we're making a measurement here, by keeping our left mouse button down, we can rely on the measurement that is shown for us. The only thing we need to take care of is that we have adjusted the view so that we are actually measuring uh, the right part of the anatomy. By default, the measurement label is placed somewhere here, and if you uh, feel that it's uh, disturbing you, there's also another mode uh, for positioning the measurement label. We can go here to default settings and we can select here uh, in the general tab, we can select this place measurement label manually. So now let's do a measurement again. And this time uh, we're able to freely determine where to place our measurement label. So we could put it somewhere here uh, where it's not blocking uh, us from seeing interesting anatomy. So we just place it with uh, simply clicking with our left mouse button. And if there's the need to measure polyline, we can click on this small uh, pink corner here in the icon and we can select the other option, uh, polyline measurement. This allows us uh, to measure several distances and see their total length as one value. Then we also have uh, angle measurement. So I'll just uh, measure something uh, random here. So for this, we would first draw a line and then click in order to define uh, the angle that we would like to measure. We could also add text annotations. We have these two tools for that. So firstly, uh, we could add uh, just the text annotation here and with the other tool uh, we will have uh, an arrow with which we can highlight in more detail uh, what our text annotation is pointing to. Then we could also uh, draw rectangles and uh, ellipses. Uh, with these tools we can see besides uh, the measures of uh, these rectangles and ellipses, we can also see uh, the average Hounsfield unit value inside our annotation. So we could have uh, a rough estimate of uh, the bone quality uh, in this area. With these other tools here, uh, we can make 3D cubes and uh, ellipsoids, and uh, then we can make segmentations. We will cover them uh, in another tutorial about segmentations. Let's then uh, take a look at how we can uh, manage uh, our annotations. So now, if, for example, if we would be browsing somewhere here in the volume and uh, we have lost uh, the site where we made our measurements and annotations, we can go back to them by clicking on the respective annotation or measurement here uh, in the object browser. So if we click on this, we can get back to this frame uh, where we made our annotational measurement. So it works as sort of a link. We can also temporarily hide uh, the annotations by using this eye icon. So here, for example, in this annotations group, uh, there's an eye icon with which uh, we can hide uh, all the annotations and we can make them visible again by clicking on the eye again. If we would like to get rid of some of these annotations, we can select all those annotations that we want to remove, and then we can use this Trascan icon here next to the annotation group. If we would like to change a color uh, for these annotations, we can use these color boxes here next to each annotation and select a new color for that. If we would always prefer to have uh, annotations marked in a specific color, uh, we can define that here in the default settings. So here we have uh, for each annotation a default color uh, that we could specify uh, by clicking on the respective box 